tutorial for beginners. In our last videos, we saw how to test for conditions and how to write conditional statements like if else and switch case. But there are many cases while writing the logic of a program that you would want to repeat a certain set of steps again and again. So you want to iterate through a certain set of steps until a particular condition is met. To do all those cases, we go ahead and take the help of while and do while loops. So in today's video, we are going to talk about the same while do while loops. And in our next video, we'll talk about the for loops. So let's jump right in. So let's say write a simple countdown, whatever number you start from there, reach till the first and just repeat the process. So let's say we start off with saying int num equals to 8. So we need to do the countdown from 8. Now what you have to do is start off by writing while and inside you give the condition, the condition that will check how many times this while loop will run. So in our case, while loop will run till our number is greater than 0. Since we have to do a countdown, right? So 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And it should stop there. So till the number remains greater than 0, we need to repeat the steps. So while num greater than 0. Okay. Now just go ahead and print the number. Let's say countdown plus num. Alright. So this will say countdown and the number of the countdown. Now what you also have to do inside a while loop is you will have to keep a check of increasing or decreasing this condition variable to make sure that your condition is met. So the condition that you have given here is while num is greater than zero. Now your num in every iteration should be decreasing by one, right? We have to print a countdown. So after eight to print seven, we need to subtract num minus equal to one. So this will subtract one from num in every iteration. Okay, fairly simple. Start off with the while keyword. The condition to be checked goes inside till the times this has to be repeated and do whatever statement execution that you have to do here and make an expression that checks the value of this variable num. So increase or decrease whatever based on your program, you need to take care of that. That's it. Just save and run. So you see the countdown here. 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. All right. Now, if you don't give this, you never ever go ahead and decrease the num, your condition will never be met because 8 will always remain 8 and this loop will become an infinite loop. So let's run that again and see how that works. So as you see here, this is now continuously working and typing 8, 8, 8. So this becomes an infinite loop if you don't check the num condition here. All right. Let me just stop this infinite loop. And to do that, all you have to do, this will continue going on. You just see a red dot here, right? Terminate. Just click on this red dot and it will stop the process. At whatever space it is, see the last is half count was printed and I hit stop. So it stopped right there. Now let's talk about another loop called do while. So when you use do while loops, what happen is the statements that you give inside the do while loop will be executed at least once. So let's say here off we start off by writing do while loop. Now in while you saw that we first check this condition, then execute the steps inside and then do the increment decrement again next iteration check this condition again execute the steps and then do the increment or decrement so this process continues but nothing will be done inside the while loop until and unless this condition meets for the first time but in the do while loop 
your statements will be executed at least once and then your conditions will be checked. So for that the syntax is again very simple just say do and start off with your statements first. So let's say we do the same countdown but now this time check will be here and your condition that will check whether your do while will be executed or not will come at the very end. So while num is greater than 0. Alright. So this will make sure that at least your first statement would be printed. So let me just comment these out and we'll run our do while loop. Just finish it off. So do while last statement you finish it off with a semicolon. Save and run. So as you see here 8765 Now if we change this condition let's say while num is greater than do something else greater than 10. Now our number is never greater than 10. Our number is 8 but still this loop will execute these steps once before checking this condition and stopping to execute. So when you run this you'll get 8. Now when you do the same thing with the while loop it will not execute even for one single time. So that is the difference between while and do while and you choose accordingly based on what you have to do in your program whether to use while loop or do while loop. So I hope you understood this. And in our next video, we'll talk about for loops. So please don't forget to subscribe. And as always, if you have any queries that you want us to take up in this series or any doubts that you want to be clarified, please feel free to drop a comment below. Thank you for watching guys and happy coding.